In a world where fortunes can be made overnight, Sam Bankman-Fried was a star on the rise. He was more than a mere participant in the crypto revolution. He was a pioneer, a leader, a titan. As the founder and CEO of FTX, a prominent cryptocurrency exchange, Bankman-Fried was at the helm of a multi-billion dollar empire. His reputation soared as high as the digital coins he traded. Lauded as a mathematical wizard, he was a force to be reckoned with. His name synonymous with the cryptocurrency boom that swept the globe. Bankman Fried's journey to the top wasn't just about financial success, though. It was about influence and power. As cryptocurrencies gained traction, so did he. His words could move markets. His decisions could shape the future of finance. His vision was daring, his ambition boundless. He was the embodiment of the new age of digital wealth, a poster child for the promise of decentralized finance. But the higher you climb, the harder you can fall. And for Bankman Fried, the fall was imminent. As his empire expanded, so did the scrutiny. His meteoric rise in the crypto world was not without its share of controversy. The shadow of suspicion began to loom. He was a titan, yes, but even titans can stumble. Even titans can fall. And fall he did. As his star ascended, so did the attention of authorities. The crypto mogul's empire began to crumble not under the weight of market pressures, but under the weight of the law. The Titan was about to face his biggest challenge yet, but that, dear listeners, is a story for another scene. As the saying goes, the higher you rise, the harder you fall. And for Bankman Fried, the fall was monumental. Sam Bankman Fried, once a dominant figure in the world of cryptocurrency, found himself caught in an intricate web of deceit and betrayal. His downfall began when the very people he trusted the most, his inner circle of executives, turned against him, cooperating with prosecutors, and revealing the extent of the fraud scheme that Bankman Fried had masterminded. The charges brought against Bankman Fried were severe and numerous. He faced seven counts of wire fraud, a complex scheme that involved manipulating electronic communications to defraud his unsuspecting customers. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface lay even more egregious crimes. Bankman Fried was also charged with money laundering, the process of making illicitly obtained money appear legitimate. This charge suggested that Bankman Fried was not only defrauding his customers, but also attempting to cover his tracks. And then, there was the charge of conspiracy. This indicated that Bankman Fried didn't act alone. He conspired with others, plotting and planning to commit these financial crimes. This was a calculated move, a game of chess where Bankman Fried was the grandmaster, directing his pawns with precision and foresight. But every game has its end. And for Bankman Fried, the checkmate came in the form of his trusted executives turning on him, revealing his deceitful maneuvers to the world. His empire began to crumble, slowly at first, then all at once. The stage was set for a dramatic trial, and the world watched with bated breath. The trial that ensued was nothing short of a spectacle, a display of a man's desperate struggle to defend his crumbling empire. The courtroom buzzed with anticipation as the prosecutors laid out a damning case against Sam Bankman Freed, the once celebrated cryptocurrency mogul. The charges were severe. Seven counts of wire fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy, all revolving around his cryptocurrency exchange, FTX. The evidence presented was overwhelming. Transactions amounting to billions of dollars, intricate webs of shell companies, and damning testimonies from Bankman Fried's own inner circle who had turned state's witness. The prosecutors painted a picture of a man who used his mathematical genius not for the betterment of society, but to calculate the risks of fraud and deceit. On the other side of the courtroom, Bankman Fried's defense team fought tooth and nail. They described their client as a complex individual with a kind-hearted nature who had become entangled in the unregulated Wild West of cryptocurrency. They emphasized his contributions to the industry, his innovative mind, and his tireless work ethic. But when it came to the crimes he was accused of, Bankman Fried stopped short of a full admission. He apologized for the pain caused to his customers, but never explicitly acknowledged his guilt. The judge, the jury, the spectators, they all watched as this trial unfolded. As this man, once hailed as a mathematical wizard, tried to defend his crumbling empire. But as the evidence mounted, it became clear that this was not just a trial about financial fraud. It was a trial about trust, about the potential damage that can be done when that trust is violated, about the dark side of the cryptocurrency world. 
As the trial concluded, the jury was left to decide the fate of this once untouchable crypto mogul. The gavel fell and with it, the final chapter of Bankman Fried's reign in the crypto world. The atmosphere in the courtroom was thick with anticipation as the jury returned, their faces betraying no hint of the verdict they bore. In a unanimous decision, Sam Bankman Fried, the former CEO of FTX and a crypto mogul, was found guilty on all counts. The charges were severe, seven counts of wire fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy, each carrying significant weight. The defense had painted a picture of a complex personality, a mathematical wizard who had perhaps lost his way in the vast unregulated expanse of the cryptocurrency universe. Yet, the jury saw through the smoke and mirrors, recognizing a calculated risk taker who had knowingly crossed the line. Then came the sentencing. The room fell silent as the judge delivered the verdict. 25 years in prison, the number echoed through the courtroom a stark reminder of the severity of Bankman-Fried's crimes. But the punishment didn't stop there. Bankman-Fried was ordered to forfeit over $11 billion, a staggering sum that reflected the magnitude of his fraudulent operations. His parents, present in the courtroom, could only watch as their son's empire crumbled before their eyes. Throughout the proceedings, Bankman-Fried maintained an air of stoicism, apologizing for the pain caused to his customers but stopping short of admitting to any crimes. Yet his lack of remorse did little to sway the judge or the jury. The message was clear. No one is above the law, not even a titan of the crypto world. As Bankman Fried was led away, his newly hired legal team began planning an appeal. Yet regardless of what the future holds, the damage has been done. A once respected figure in the crypto world now stands as a cautionary tale a symbol of the potential pitfalls and dangers that lurk in the shadows of this rapidly evolving industry. Even as the courtroom cleared, the shockwaves of this verdict would be felt throughout the crypto world. The fall of Sam Bankman Fried serves as a stark reminder to all. In the world of cryptocurrency, the stakes are high, the risks are real, and the consequences of crossing the line can be severe. In the aftermath of this colossal fall, the crypto world was left reeling. The conviction of Sam Bankman Fried, once a titan of the industry, sent shockwaves through the digital currency landscape. This was not just the story of one man's downfall, but a dramatic wake-up call for an entire sector. The ripple effects of Bankman Fried's 25-year sentence were felt far and wide. Investors, traders, and tech enthusiasts alike found themselves questioning the very foundation of this digital realm they'd come to trust. The FTX saga served as a stark reminder that even in the decentralized world of cryptocurrency, no one is above the law. But from this chaotic aftermath, important lessons emerged. The first among them, transparency. The crypto world thrives on the promise of decentralization and anonymity. But this case has shown us that these principles can be exploited. It's become clear that for the crypto market to mature and gain wider acceptance, it must embrace greater transparency. The second lesson is about accountability. The allure of vast digital fortunes has led many to disregard the ethical and legal boundaries. But Bankman Fried's fall from grace serves as a stark reminder that accountability is not an optional extra in the world of business, crypto or otherwise. It's an essential element that ensures trust, integrity and fairness. Finally, the need for regulation. The Wild West days of the crypto world where anything goes and the only rule is that there are no rules are coming to an end. Regulation, often viewed as a dirty word in crypto circles, is becoming increasingly necessary. It's not about stifling innovation, but about protecting investors, maintaining market integrity, and preventing the kind of financial crimes that led to Bankman Fried's downfall. The tale of Sam Bankman Fried serves as a stark reminder that in the world of crypto, the line between genius and criminal can be perilously thin, but it also provides an opportunity for us to learn, evolve, and ensure that the future of cryptocurrency is one that values transparency, accountability, and fair play above all else.